14 years in business, it was probably eight or 10 until I started figuring things out. And as we've really refined the pre-construction aspect of this, it has created a business model that can be implemented and integrated into whatever size business you need. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Midweek Modern Craftsman. Oh, man. I am sick. Um, school, this is the the official start of the fall winter season. School starting back up. The kids, they got us. They got us good. Um, Toby was sick last week. And then Rachel got sick, I guess, later in the week. And she was out for the, down for the count. She was out. Um, and I was like, maybe I won't, maybe I won't get sick. As soon as I said that I started sneezing, she, that's how mine started. And now I am fully sick. Um, but it's all right. I feel like it's par for the course. This is, uh, this is part of having kids being sick for the rest of your life. Um, I don't think that my immunity has built up at all. I just continue to get sick and feel like crap. Um, so if any of you guys with, uh, guys and girls with kids are feeling what I'm feeling right now, best of luck. This is the beginning of six season for us that will last pretty much into summer. And then we have a couple of months respite and then start getting sick again. Um, they don't tell you this when you go to have kids. All right. <clears throat> Enough of that. Um, being that I don't feel amazing, I'm going to get right to it today. It's just straight business. Um, this podcast and this blog post, which you can find on moderncraftsman.co. Um, if you have not been on the website, hop over there. You can check out all the written blog posts. Um, you can also download our free labor burden calculator. If you have not done that, you can also download our pre-construction agreement. If you have not done that, and you can also sign up for the email newsletter, um, which is actually really, really important to us. So if you want to give back to this community, if you want to support this community, if you want to grow this community, hop on the website, sign up for the email list, the newsletter and be the first to know about everything that's happening in the world of modern craftsmen. Um, I received a few emails the past couple of weeks with listeners just checking in, um, expressing their gratitude for the podcast, what we're doing, how we've helped them throughout their careers. A few people have made some some big changes within their business, relocating, uh, career shifts, and just what we've been able to provide as far as a... Um, just information, a support group, uh, feeling as though they have a network of people behind them, which to be honest is the reason why we started this podcast and why we continue along with this podcast. I'd like to say that it is more lucrative, um, than it is, but honestly, most of the money we make from this just goes right back into the podcast. So it is a huge investment of our time. Um, it's a huge investment for our sponsors, our partners, Doug on the editing side of things, obviously Nick's time, my time, Catherine's time, everyone involved with this. Um, it's a lot of work. And if you, uh, if you appreciate what we do, obviously you can send us an email, you can reach out, you can spread the word, you can sign up for that email newsletter. Um, that's all really helpful. We don't ask for much other than that. So that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, <clears throat> so this, this, podcast and this blog post, which you can find on the website as well, is going to be understanding the value of pre-construction. We've done many podcasts on pre-construction, whether they've been my midweek pre-construction, giving you some insight as to how I operate with pre-con. Um, we've spoken about it a ton on the main Modern Craftsman show. It is definitely a point of interest. I've done dozens of consulting calls uh, getting a hold of me to ask about my pre-construction process. And Nick and I realized that we are limited to the amount of time and resources that we can allocate to people wanting to learn about our pre-construction. It's very involved. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, 
from understanding your market to, you know, identifying the correct client profile to having the systems and the the templates in place to the communication to the client correspondence, the design aspect of things. There's a lot that goes into pre-con um, that it's hard, right, for us in the amount of time that we have. If I can do two consulting calls a week, how many people can we help with this pre-con? Um, and the amount of money that you're investing at that point, it's, you know, everyone's one off. Everyone has their own objectives for their business and their pre-construction process. So Nick and I wanted to find a way that we could create a pre-construction course, um, that everyone can access on, on their own prerogative, on their own time, um, that can help them better their business. So the first thing I want to say is that this was a long time coming. I've probably integrated pre-con into my business at least six or seven years now. In probably five years, I started doing some things right. And then the past three years, I've, I've really figured it out um, until current day where it, it is a viable, sustainable outlet for my business that lands me work before I actually have the main work contract. I get paid for all of the planning, the coordination, the consulting, um, the budgeting, the value engineering, all of that I get paid for so that I don't need to have multiple jobs going at the same time. Um, that is how this works for my business. If you have a larger business, this creates a revenue stream for you where you could possibly do a little bit less work each, each year. Um, maybe you're creating enough revenue to hire somebody and assign them to your pre-construction that people are paying you for. And it's not necessarily absorbed as an overhead, but as a separate aspect of your business. Um, so the investment in this, first off, if you're a small contractor, if it's a kitchen, if it's a bathroom, it should pay for itself 1x the first time you do a bathroom. Like you should immediately recoup the cost of the course the first job that you do. Um, uh, it took me a long time to be able to do that. And also, I didn't have this at my fingertips. But if it would have cost what it did, it would have saved me so many years and it would have made so much money for me um, instead of just fumbling my way through this and trying to put everything in place and understand how this works. Um, so first off, again, if you do small projects, your first project will pay it back immediately. If you do a kitchen, you should be able to 2, 3x this, the first kitchen that you sign up for pre-construction. If you do larger jobs, full house builds, a million dollars or less, you should be able to five, 10 X this. If you do stuff like Nick, um, he's literally like 15 to 20 X this, the first job that he does. Um, so you should be able to recoup the investment immediately. And if you're not, you're doing something wrong. So reach out to myself or Nick. Um, but we created this pre-construction course, which the link for the sales page is on the blog post on the website, moderncraftsman.co. Um, the goal for this was to be able to create a course that you can sit down and it will walk you through everything that you need to know to not only um, differentiate, differentiate yourself within the market, but also to understand how to sell this, um, how to create the value, how to communicate to customers, how to understand and identify what customers actually will hire you to do this, understand what that looks like in your market, um, understand who you are, what your business is, <clears throat> and what you do to be able to position yourself to be able to sell this, um, what the cost of this is, and then guidelines, templates, examples of PDFs of our documents, everything that you will need to know to get this up and running within your business. Um, the course, it's a lot of coursework um, in a good way. There is, again, there's templates, there's documents, there's PDFs that support 
all of the actual coursework, but then we have written literature, um, which you should sit through. It, it's it's basically a summary of what we're going to talk about in the course, and then we recorded videos on the course. Um, so everything is there to supp- supplement and work together, uh, work in unison. It, you're not going to just take the templates and run with them. You're not just going to watch the videos. You're not just going to sit down and read the literature. Use everything together. That will create... Um, and instill the confidence in you and the knowledge in you and the experience in you to be able to go out and sell this on your own and integrate this into your business and and create this financial security with landing jobs and and defining your customer and um, essentially consulting. Like pre-construction isn't just, it's not just getting an estimate to people you are actually serving as a consultant a liaison between design and construction and scheduling everything that comes together to guarantee when you go to execute a job you understand how much time and how much resources you have for each task to be able to devote them to the project to ensure and guarantee your profitability Um, these are all things that i learned trying to figure this out on my own when i first started doing this i had read an article on jlc years ago that outlined this contractor's way of doing things. And and I took some things from that. I tried implementing others. Some things worked for me. Some things didn't. But it was just a one-page article on this. <clears throat> and I had to figure the rest out. Um, luckily for all of you, Nick and I have struggled through this for years. Luckily for all of you, Nick and I have spent the, fast, the past four months putting together all of this information um, through an online course that you can sit down and you can work for, work through, meet all the deliverables and go through one module at a time. You know, sit down, I'm going to do one module tonight. I'll do the next module the next day. And you have constant access to this. Um, the other thing with this course is you are going to get access to a private Facebook group that Nick and I will be in. So if you have questions, um, Anyone who's ever downloaded this course has access to this private Facebook group that you can only get access through buying this course. You have access to Nick, to myself, and the rest of the community that's have, you know, trying to implement this into their business. So if they have questions, they have um they have advice, what's worked for them, what hasn't worked for them, you're all part of this private Facebook community. Again, we're gonna provide you with um some templates. If we have any more webinars, you'll have access to them. Um, so it, it's a bit of an insider peek into what Nick and I are doing with pre-construction and our businesses that nobody else will have access to unless you are um, investing in this in this uh, course. So as this rolls out, you're going to see everything that it entails, um, everything that we'll cover in the course, the the, the deliverables, all the information. Um, but at the end of the day, we are creating a guide for you that you can follow step by step from the very beginning stages where you have nothing in place to be able to do this to having everything that you need to begin to start implementing this into your business and charging for it. And again, like just from a basic perspective, you will make this back the first project that you execute pre-con on. It doesn't matter how small it is. You'll make it back. And realistically, most of you are probably doing bigger projects than just the bathroom here and there you will be making this back 3x the first project that you implemented on, if not more, 10x. Um, It is, there's two things that I did in my business over the, I mean, for the life of my business, there's two things that I've done that have created the most um, freedom for me from customers, created the most freedom for me financially, um, created the best margins within my business there's two things that i've done and they go hand in hand one is integrate pre-con but that was the way i did it initially was not quite enough um so 
if I were to have a course like this where I can implement this and integrate this and and go through the coursework and understand how to properly execute pre-con, that probably would have been enough. But for me, learning on my own and and experimenting with this, the other thing that I did that really affected the trajectory of my business was moving towards a TNM model. Um for bigger companies, it might be cost plus. There's there's differences between them, um, but in in summary, um, there are also a lot of parallels, and it comes up it comes out to being percentages and the way that those percentages are applied and markups. Um, so for a smaller contractor like myself, not doing you know five hundred thousand million dollar jobs, I need to make a higher margin. I need to make a higher markup because I don't have the volume. So TNM affords me that more so than cost plus. But it's the same it's the same mindset. You're basically creating a budget, creating scope, creating a schedule, um, selling it to the correct customer, understanding the design, serving as a consultant, and using all of the the information that we provide you with to be able to structure a project that on the back end you could manage using your pre-con to guarantee your profitability, your efficiency, and the resources that you are afforded or limited to um, to be able to execute that project to maintain the margins and the standards that you sold and you need to sustain contractually um, and financially. So integrating pre-con into my business at first i didn't truly understand how to do that i was using it just as a way to sell projects before landing the projects which is great that was amazing Uh, i got me away from competitively bidding jobs like this was the the first step in getting away from competitively bidding jobs because i wouldn't bid a job i required pre-construction on every project but i didn't know how to make that happen and i still didn't know my numbers enough and have the proper scheduling and and development of scope and budget templates and all of that stuff to be able to manage it on the back end. So we've provided you with all of that information and those resources to be able to not only um, understand who your customer is, understand your market, sell to these these customers, these clients, these ideal clients, um, sell the work that makes you the money that you need to sustain the lifestyle and the business that you need to support. Um, but we have all the information, all the experience, all the case studies, all of the um, experiential stories that Nick and myself have gone through that have shaped this course and shaped our systems. Um, so the goal is is not just um, for you to get on there and and take a course to to better your, um, I guess, increase your knowledge, increase your experience, increase your overall understanding of the projects. But it is to create a profitable, valuable service to your clients and to yourself as a business owner. Um, This is the one thing that I did for my business that led to understanding my numbers better and being able to maintain that profitability before the job starts um, during the project and while closing out the project to guarantee that I'm not over executing to guarantee that I'm not selling to the wrong client to guarantee that I'm managing my subs correctly to guarantee that the project is a success through communication through project management through schedule management um, and through financial management that I make the money that I need to and my customers are able to drive the ship in a way that they get what they want um, according to everything that was set forth in the contract and how we approach the pre-construction, the design, and the actual execution of the work. Um, So there's a lot here. Again, this was a a really large investment of Nick in my time. it's the for, the first course that we're putting out, but we intend to continue along this path. Again, we've realized uh, I've offered consulting for the past year, and I love the consulting that I do, and I'm still offering the consulting that I do. 
If you want to hop on a one-on-one call with me, if you download the course, you have a question about the course beforehand and you're not sure if you want to invest the, the time and the money into it, you can set up a call with me, Tyler at trghomeconcepts.com. But Nick and I have realized that it would take us months worth of consulting calls to be able to explain and provide you with all of this information that we have in this course. One, that would be really, really, really expensive. Two, that's only serving one person. And three, it's a huge waste of our time. So we've invested all of the time up front to create this coursework and create this product and, and add all of this information, these deliverables and these templates into this to be able to help as many people as we want, which is really incredible. Um, it ends up bringing the price down on that. If you were to hire us individually to walk you through our entire pre-construction process, it costs you one more. So everyone is sharing the cost of that. Um, again, we're able to vet, invest our time and really refine this process and create like a very comprehensive um course that you will follow a sequence of modules that will take you from the beginning stages of this through closing this out and understanding what you need to start integrating this into your business successfully day one. Um, So it's been a huge learning experience for us. This is not something that Nick and myself do. Um, We, as we have gone through this, we've realized that there's so many things that we can continue to uh, elevate, that we can continue to grow from, that we can integrate into this that would make it even better. So there's potential that once this gets up and running, we may go back and start to revise things and improve on things, um, not only on courses that we're working on for the future, but also on past courses where we're like, hey, we should integrate this. We're going to change this. You, It's not a one-time access to this course. You have access to it forever once you download it. Um, so if it's something that you take the course, you complete the course, and you want to go back and you want to look at something again, you want to reread something, rewatch something, you have access to do that. So if we make changes, we'll send out an email. Hey, we updated this template. Hey, we changed this section of this module to better um, illustrate what exactly we mean here. So we'll constantly be reinvesting in this um, and in you guys. So we're very excited for this. It has been honestly a huge, this has probably been the the biggest um, financial and time undertaking of Nick and my modern craftsman career single-handedly for one thing that we've done. Um, So we hope that it is as beneficial to all of you as we think it's going to be. Um, This, I don't want, I don't want to, um, I don't want to tell everyone how much this actually winds up costing not like not even from a sweat equity but just everything that we put into this um and the systems behind it and getting the information out there and putting the course together it's been a huge investment and that doesn't even account for any of our time um so again if anyone right you've looked to support the podcast it's been years um you want to give back you want to support Take this course, uh, download this course, invest in your business, invest in yourself. I'm telling you, you will recoup this job one and you will create a a viable business for yourself. If nothing else, if you made no money from doing this, you will not be competitive bidding, competitively bidding projects anymore, which will save you so much time so much headache. You will be able to spend that time with your family. You'll be able to spend that time working on your business. You'll be able to spend that time on hobbies. You will save yourself hours and hours and hours each and every week. Uh, You will finally understand who your ideal client is. You will understand how to sell to them. You understand how to differentiate. You understand how to offer a service that's guaranteeing you profit on the back end. So just from an investment perspective, okay, we're going to pay to download the course. I'll be able to recoup just that investment job one that we implement this. 
that does not account for the amount of money that you are making thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars for your business by implementing all of these tactics and information and and coursework into your business. It's not just about the investment in the course. It will literally change the way that you operate your business, the way that you sell work, the way that you interact with customers, the way that you value what you do, who your client is, and how you manage a project to guarantee that you make the margins that you need to support the lifestyle that you need for yourself, for your family, for your business, for your employees, for everyone else. Um, Again, this is the number one thing that I've done for my business that has served um, to create a lot of financial freedom for myself, to differentiate myself, to qualify the leads that come in, um, and to really change the trajectory and how I operate my business. It has put me in a league of my own as far as my market and who I'm competing with so that I'm not competing with other people. Um, and it's a huge value add. Not only it, It's just not a value add for me, right? It creates so much value for my business. It creates so much um, f- extra time within my business, but it's a value add for your customers as well once you understand how to sell it because they it's full transparency. They understand what they're getting. They understand how you're going about this. They're a part of that process. Um, and it essentially guarantees that profitability for you. And it creates an, another avenue for you to um, sustain the business that you need to and create profitability within your business and create additional revenue without running around like a chicken with your head scra- cut off, meeting with clients producing estimates, helping give design ideas, bidding a job against two, three other people, bothering your subs to get numbers, creating a budget, creating a schedule, trying to squeeze every penny out of out of your profit, trying to sharpen your pencil to be able to sell to a client who at the bottom at the end of the day and at the bottom line just is not they're not a fit for you. Um, they don't necessarily want what you want. They're trying to exploit whatever weaknesses you have within your business, um, to fulfill their program and their objective. So by the end of this, you will understand who you are as a business, who your client is, what your numbers need to be and how to guarantee moving forward that you do not have to competitively bid. You do not need, um, to work an extra day or two a week. You do not have to work from 6 till 10 to 12 p.m. You don't have to run around and meet with every single customer. You'll understand where you can maximize your profit and where you can make your money and how you need to manage jobs to make sure that you're a successful contractor, which is something that Nick and I have struggled with for years. Um, You know, 14 years in business, it was probably eight or 10 until I started figuring things out. and as as we've really um, refined the pre-construction aspect of this and handled that and sold that to the correct client, um, it it has created a business model for me, which it's not just applicable to my business model, um, but it has afforded me a business model that uh, allows me to work less and make more money, which as an owner operator is the goal, right? We're not looking to necessarily get rich, but we want to work a little less. We have a lot on our shoulders. We don't necessarily have the overhead to support a million employees or a dozen employees or an estimating staff. So we really have trouble capturing our costs as owner operators. So these systems afford you an ability to capture those costs and not have to, um, you know, work six, seven days a week, not have to work 60, 70 hours a week. Um, this process is also applicable to a company like Nick that does high end custom home builds, full house renovations. Um, it affords him to qualify his, his customers to get paid for the time that is needed to invest in this pre-con to have all the information needed to be able to manage on the back end. So this isn't just for owner operators. This isn't just for large scale custom contractors. 
it runs the gamut and it can be implemented and integrated into whatever size business you need. Um, so if you are interested in this, if you have any questions about it, you can reach out to me. It's Tyler at trghomeconcepts.com. We will be pumping out a lot more information on this in the coming weeks, but we are just starting to drop this now. Um, so you can head on to the website to uh, see the course, see the sales page. I have a link to the sales page in this blog post. You can go to moderncraftsman.co, go to this blog post. The link will be embedded in there. And we will also start posting all of that on our social media so that you can find it there. Um, and I'll be interested to hear your feedback any criticism that you have, any um, positive feedback that you have, any way that Nick and I can help all of you create more profitability within your business, create more freedom for yourselves, um, get rid of the tire kickers and, and make money um, by not competitively bidding projects. Um, I think that it's a win-win for everyone. This, this is going to really elevate the entire industry and I know that that's a, that's a huge ask. Um, and that's, that's a really impactful thing to say. And I, I'm not, I'm not saying that in an egotistical manner, but if people start implementing this and we start integrating this into our business and people understand that we have a lot more value, um, aside from our price, right? That the, the process of uh, getting a job done should be different than what it is right now. Um, and this becomes the standard for even if it's 10% of our industry, that is going to massively shift the way that we operate as contractors, especially with the older generation passing the torch to the younger generation. Now, there's less people involved in the industry. That means that there's more of a demand. That means there's less of us. That means that we might not need quite as much work. That means that we really get to pick and choose as to how we want to operate. And we have the opportunity right now to completely re-script and turn this entire industry on its head. And I think that we have the opportunity to do that with something like this. So I'm excited for this. It's been so much work that Nick and I have put into this and invested. And I'm really, really excited to turn it out. And I'm excited to see what you guys and girls say. Um, again, if you have any questions, reach out to myself or Nick. You can uh, get a hold of me at Tyler at trghomeconcepts.com. And if you see anything coming out on social with links to this, take a click and uh, give back to our community. Um, Nick and I put a ton into this and we invest a ton of time um, and this is one way that you can not only better yourself, better your business, create just a, a better industry as a whole, but you can give back to this podcast. So we appreciate it. Appreciate all of you listening. I appreciate all the support, the emails. Again, I probably got three emails this last week from people just reaching out saying, Hey, it's been super helpful, grateful for what you guys do. And it means the world to us. Um, and it, it gives us the motivation and the support that we need to keep moving ahead with this because it, it is, it's a lot of work. It's investment of our time and it's a huge investment financially for us. Um, so I'm grateful for all of that. And the last thing that I want to speak to today is the Kukin Brothers Expo, which is November 7th. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. That was probably so loud in all of your ears. <coughs> I couldn't get to my mute in, uh, quick enough. Thanks, Selby, for that. It's Thursday, November 7th, 2024, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Birchwood Manor, Whippany, New Jersey. I'm going to be presenting on uh, integrating windows into the envelope of a building to avoid any rot, to create a durable, uh, long-lasting install. And I'll also be focusing on how to integrate windows into um, a sheathing with exterior insulation, which is something we'll all be running into sooner than later. So if you want to see that, you can hop up there. Um, register beforehand and it will be free. All you have to do is go to cucumbrothers.com. Basically, the first thing that's going to pop up will be the expo. You can click on that. And at the bottom of the page, there'll be a place for you to register your company and get in for free. There'll be vendors there. There'll be all sorts of presentations. So you'll be able to get a little bit of education while you're there. 
see new products, see old products, meet with friends. Um, it's a huge network event, networking event, and also they'll have food and drinks. Um, it's a really great event, really great company. I'm excited to see all of you there. Again, cucumberbrothers.com. Uh, find the the tab for the live product expo and get yourself registered for free before the event Thursday, November 7th, 2024, 10 a.m. till 7 p.m. All right, guys and girls, I'm signing off. Uh, I'm going to go take some cold medicine, get ready for our next podcast. Thank you all for everything. I'll catch up with you next week.